Hello everyone, and welcome to Cook for Your Wife. Robert here. Today, we're going to do hamburger steaks with brown gravy, with mushroom and onions, over cauliflower rice. So, I took some ground beef, and I seasoned it up with a couple eggs in a bowl, and I used seasoning salt, garlic salt, onion powder, and some Italian seasoning. Mixed it all around, patted them out by hand, made some nice hamburger steaks and now I'm going to dredge them through this flour and we're going to cook them in our skillet here until they're nicely cooked and then we will start making the cauliflower rice. Shout out to my new uh, pans here I got from Pampered Chef and my new knife set. Loving it. Loving it. So let's get started shall we. So I got my nice little patties here we're going to just dredge them through this flour and I got a little bit of bacon grease in this pan just for a little added flavor. I'm going to stick them in there like so. Okay, do one more in there. Okay. Alright guys, we will be right back. I'm going to get these all cooked up and get these mushrooms and onions sautéed. Then we'll start making the gravy and we'll start making the cauliflower rice and then we'll put it all together. Be right back. Alright 
All right, everybody, welcome back. I got almost all the hamburger steaks cooked. I have three more to go. I got the onions and mushrooms all caramelized and sauteed. Those are ready to go. So now we're going to make cauliflower rice. So we have two big heads of cauliflower, and we chopped them all up and separated them. And I'm using a ninja. You can use a food processor, however you want to do it. And just break them up just a little out of time and put them in here. And then you're going to pulse them like so. Okay, take the blade out and it'll end up looking like little pieces of styrofoam. And you just pour that in the bowl. Now you can saute this in a pan. We are going to microwave it. So you can do it however you want. So you're just going to do all of that until all the cauliflower that you're doing is done. You're going to microwave up that six minutes on high, then you're going to take it out and stir it up real good, mix it around, and then you're going to put it in there again for another six minutes, and it's done. So now we'll check on our last three hamburger steaks. Okay. And those are all done. All right. Now we have all this goodness in the pan, so we're going to turn it up, and we're going to use some beef broth to deglaze the pan. And what I mean by deglaze is to get all of the crumbles and everything up off the bottom and all the flavors so we can make our gravy. So we're going to put some beef broth in there. Okay, and we're going to bring this up to temp in a separate container here. I have my measuring cup and I have two big scoops of cornstarch and we're going to put cold water in there, not hot. Make sure your water is nice and cold. If you put hot water in cornstarch, you're going to have a big thick mess. You're going to fill that measuring cup up with water. And we're going to whip it up real good with the whip. Make sure you get the bottom. Okay? And get that cornstarch. Mix up real good with the water and let that set to the side. This is how I make my brown gravy. You can make it where you put the flour in the bottom and make a paste and a roux out of it and get it all mixed up and then start adding your water or your base or your or your broth. 
this is how I do it. We're going to mix it around. Make sure everything's coming up off the bottom. Now we're going to bring this up to a boil, and then when it comes to a boil, I'm going to shut it off, and I'm going to start slowly pouring this cornstarch mixture in until it gets thick the way that I want it. And then there's our gravy for our hamburger sticks. Okay, so it's, it's boiling. Now you're just going to pour this in. All right, guys, welcome back. Everything's done, so now we're gonna put it on the plate. We got our nice cauliflower rice here, all mixed up, piping hot, yum. So we're gonna put that on the center of our plate, like so. We're gonna maybe add another spoon. Okay. Spray that out a little bit. Okay. And then that's done. Now we're gonna take our nice hamburger steak and we're going to set that right in the middle. And then we're going to take our mushrooms and onions and we're going to put a little bit of those on top, like so. Then we're going to take it over here and put some gravy on it. There you go. There it is. There you go. Yum. Boom. There it is. Excellent. Yum. Boom. Can't wait to give that a taste. Well, guys, as usual, thank you very much for watching the show, supporting the show. We really appreciate it. Um, I love to do this. Also, to my mom and dad, happy anniversary. 29 years. You guys are awesome. What's that make me? That I was 21 years old when you two got married. I'm glad you found each other. You guys look great together. I love you both very much. I know the other day when you are over here, you said you wish you had one of these cups. I got two of them for you. Just come get them. They're yours. So I hope you guys have a great time at dinner tomorrow when you're watching this. You're probably having dinner or already had dinner. So uh, just stop on by, Mom and Dad. I love you very much. You guys come get a couple of these cups. Thanks, guys. You guys have a great day. I'll see you later.